Howdy, howdy. Today we're going to be going over uh, a little issue. We're going to be showing you uh, what it's doing and then how to fix it. Uh, I got this mower for free. Uh, more or less, the person that was selling it was under the impression that it needed major engine work um, due to the diagnosis and kind of the visual of what it's doing. I'll put you up on a tripod here and show you why the reason the person got rid of it and why I got this mower for only $150. Get you on the tripod here. Good. All right. So, best way to show you what it's doing is to take off the hood. That way, you guys can see the engine and kind of get a better idea of what's happening. They so just unplug the plug for the headlight put your hands in the sides here you just lift up and it comes right off so we're gonna go ahead and start it up the way it is and let you guys hear it and uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, fix the issue we won't have to ever deal with it again so just to give you a little bit of an idea of what's happening um, the engine is loose and it's shaking more or less when you start it. So here you go. So as you hear that, that doesn't sound good. To some people, it sounds like the engine's completely shot, but it's not. The engine is just loose. There are four bolts on the bottom of the engine that hold it on the motor. Currently, the engine is going front to back and moving. So, the way to fix this is to take those four bolts out, apply Loctite, and then retorque. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go under the mower right now, figure out what size bolt we need. And how we're gonna get to it. It's like the bolts right here in this corner. It doesn't look like it's very big. So we're gonna go ahead and get a smaller size socket than the one I currently have. Be right back. It's looking like the bolt's a 916. Gonna verify that. So there's the correct size. We're gonna go ahead and take our half inch wrench, 916. And we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. If we can get to it. We might need to use a longer extension, but we'll see. Oh, we're good. So the bolt's very, pretty much really, really loose. So we're just going to undo the bolt all the way, take it out, apply some Loctite thread locker, and then we're going to go ahead and put it back in. So I should be able just to spin this out at this point. Almost. there. Might have to adjust the steering to get to some of these, but it shouldn't be an issue. So 
What's up, buddy? How was your day? Good. So, boys just got home, bus just got here. I had to get them off the bus, they're good. So, this pole's got a bunch of grease. Pretty much caked in the threads. Get over my hand. So we're gonna head and go through the threads of these and get all the grease out of the the threads because we don't want grease. We want thread locker to be able to work. And if there's grease all in the threads, the thread locker is probably not gonna work. So we're gonna clean these up the best we can. And especially around the head here, the bolt, get all that grease off of there. And we get all the grease off, we're good to go. Put some Loctite on here, and then we're going to reinstall these in every slot, and we'll be good to go. So. grease off of that and we're gonna apply a nice heavy amount of blue loctite all the way down you only really got to do one side of it because it will drip down and pretty much cover the whole bolt so you don't got to go crazy with it just as long as you get them on the whole length of the threads of the bolt you guys are good to go so go ahead and cap this start manually threading it back up in there That's pretty much it. We're gonna go and head and get these tightened up. We'll save you guys the heartache of the video. You guys more or less know what you need to do. Tighten the four bolts on the bottom. Um, once you put Loctite on them, get them tightened up and you guys will be pretty much good to go. Go ahead and end the video here and we'll come back uh, once we got the rest of it wrapped up and show you how it is after and we'll start the engine up so you guys can see how it works. So be back soon.